step you down. You said I'm detained, but you never gave me a reason. You pulled me over, then you honked your um, sideline because I'm backing up. Did you want me to stop on the side of the road? No, we're not doing that. From a woke protester making a fool of himself to a transgender getting caught shoplifting, here are 10 times when entitled woke people get humbled by cops. You, because you're going to be performing the test. Can you do what I can do? Can you do this and you're a cop? And I haven't worked out in three years? That's pretty good. And you're good. a cop. That's pretty good. No, I probably can't do that. Yeah, you should. Welcome back to Mr. Law, it's Ethan Lawstein, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, but let's get straight to it. This activist was arrested during a city council meeting. You want custody at Can you uncuff me, please? No. I have hair on my mouth and I can't seat. breathe. Sit down, please. I can't breathe. On August 20th, 2024, Arizona police officers were dispatched to a council meeting in Surprise Maricopa County in reference to a disorderly activist berating the state attorney. The suspect, later identified as 32-year-old Rebecca Massey, refused to leave the meeting, and the officers had no other choice but to arrest her. Do not touch me. Do not put your hands on me. Can you just step out with me? Do not put your hands on me. Come on out. Do not put your hands on me. Come out with me now before you get arrested. Do you understand? This are you detaining me? Yes. Do you understand? Why am I being detained? Under what charges? Under what charges? Okay, I have personal You're property. I have you cannot trespass me. My minor daughter Stop let it go of me! Let's Stop. Go! Stop resisting me now. I am not being detained. You cannot detain me for expressing my First Amendment rights. I have personal property in there. I am. We'll get it. We're going to walk out. Let go of me. Stand up. No, I'm not standing up. You are upsetting my daughter. You are upsetting my daughter. No, please stop. He asked you to stop. He asked you Let go of my hand. I do not give you permission to touch me. I need you to stand up. Let, I'm not standing up. I have personal property over there. Under arrest. Did you not hear him the first time? Calm down. Why am I under arrest? We'll explain it to for you trespassing. For what purpose? This is a meeting that is open to the public. Massey continues fighting back. Asked if you were going to get escorted, the officer has to stop. Put your knees up to your chest. And you're gonna stand up. Can you stand up? I cannot because you have the handcuffs too tight and my pants are falling down and I'm not getting up. Ow! My can I please pull up my pants? Jesus fing right. I am not fully closed right now. Can I please? Yeah, Let's I, go! I go this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 104, can you, can you serve me a uh, keys unit over to the city hall? Can you start me a cage unit over to the city hall, please? Sorry, Are you good for? Yeah, I have the subject in custody for trespassing. Can you uncuff me, please? No. I have hair on my mouth and have I can't seat. breathe. Sit down, please. I can't breathe. Okay, hold on. These are not coming off of you. I'm just going to lock these so that they don't get tighter on you. I can't breathe. Yeah, that's 10-4. 10-4, Adam, please, copy. Is it just you and your little girl here? Yes. Have a seat. You can turn around and have a seat. I can't breathe. Okay, have a seat. I have hair in my mouth and I can't breathe. Okay. My mouth is ridiculous. Would you like me to pull the hair out of your mouth? How's that? Can I have my water that my daughter had? No, they, they my thing is still in the... You can't have anything right now. So you're denying me water? Yes. Yep. I don't understand what's happening here. Put your phone down.
We're good. You okay? No! You have any other Why adults here with her? I do not. No. Okay. How do we get a hold of somebody? She knows. She knows how to get a hold of somebody. She does. But I am requesting you. I do not give you guys permission to have custody over my daughter. No, we're not taking custody over your daughter. How old's your daughter? Oh! Sit down. I didn't tell you to move. Stay my here. My are falling down. You, they're not going to go anywhere when you're sitting. When you're sitting, there, your pants are not going to fall down. I guarantee you. You need to calm down. Take a couple deeper. I am deeper. not calm. I already told you I couldn't breathe. I, I know you're enough. not calm. That's the problem. You need to take a couple deep breaths. Um, my car is way out front. Let me bring it over here. Yeah. Are you uh, good? I don't know if you'll be able to pull in there or not. Can you, can, can I? Can we just walk her over? Uh, can you walk her up to here? I, I need yeah. my glasses back on my face. I am legally blind without vision correction. She says daughter has someone that she can call to keep her up. Okay. Hold on. You're moving your face. Sorry. Okay. Are you worried about anything? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. You want me to grab my car home and bring it over here? Or I'm right out front. How do you want I'm probably just going to walk her across. Okay. I'll um, you do not have permission to take my property. I don't need your permission. Get that through your head. Yes, you do. You are under arrest. Do you understand that? For what charges? I just told you trespassing from the city council meeting. meeting. Doesn't matter. Doesn't mean you can't be trespassed from here. For expressing my okay. First Amendment right. I'm going to grab my computer. I'll be right back. You anymore? We're just what we're trying. You already arrested. Rebecca Massey was charged with trespassing. This transgender person got accused of shoplifting. Hey, I'm getting my lawyer, this is ridiculous! Are you gonna listen to me? I haven't stole anything! Okay, well are you gonna listen? I don't have anything on me, I'm on a trash! I'm trying to- On July 15, 2022, Georgia police officers were dispatched to a local academy sports and outdoor store in reference to an attempted shoplifting. Instead of identifying himself, the suspect fled the officer and got himself into bigger trouble. Alright, so far, so good. <clears throat> I think they're, he said they were right over here somewhere. He said she was skinny. What's up? He called him, what's up? The, the guy, he, he was a, 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 a police officer. No, a captain he, called it in. He didn't handle, he didn't have his clothes. He's on plain clothes outside. He is? Yeah. She, yeah. she just tried to get out the door. And then she did try to get out? I guess. Y'all okay. need me to do anything about it? Uh, if y'all want to board, we... I'll be up to you. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Go ahead and do that for me. If you could. This one right here? Hey, ma'am, come back here. Blue hair, don't even run. Come back here. What's going on? So, come back over here. What's the problem? So, they said that you're allegedly trying to shoplift. Something for what? I have cash. Okay. They're about to close them in a rush. I have to go to work. Okay. Come over here. I don't have a personal. Do you, do you want to go in handcuffs? But do you I really? Have, hold on. Do you, wait. Do you want to? Do you want to go in handcuffs? I don't have anything. So Step over shop. here. Step over here. I'm not going to ask you again. How am I shoplifting if I don't have a purse or anything? So you just said you had cash on you and you filled up a whole basket worth of stuff, right? I didn't fill up a whole basket. Okay. And then you're saying, oh, you got to go now. No, I'm going to Okay, so they're gonna so they're gonna bar you. What's your name? Bar me for what? What is your name? I don't care. Give me your name, or you're gonna go to jail. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous because you're about to shoplift. That's what's ridiculous. How do you spell your name? Shanice. S H I N I C E. Data Bird. Shoplifting for what? I have my own cash. I'm getting discriminated against on black. It ain't nothing but much white people in here anyway. I can't shop for my kids. It's crazy. Stand over here. We're not. I'm not going to tell you again. Stand over here. Okay. We're not going to play this game. I, mean, I don't have anything. Two nine eight Central. So name and date of birth. I don't have 
Well, well, they can borrow anybody they want. Towards the Palmas. <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You just slow it down. Mama on here first phone, she's coming here right now. That's discrimination. That's right. I don't have anything. I haven't shown you that did anything. This is discrimination. I'm Every not sure. Every time I go to the store, this happens. Is she the only one that ran? Every time yeah. I go to the store, this happens. I haven't I wasn't shown sure. anything. I need to yeah. go to the store. I have cash. She's ridiculous. Yeah, guess what? Running's ridiculous. I'll be at a race day to discriminate against just for shopping in the store. Well, now you're getting arrested for running. This is ridiculous. I haven't touched anything. Well, then why'd you run? Everywhere I go, this happens. This is ridiculous. I can't live my life to be. I can't even shop in the store blue hair because I'm being discriminated against. Why'd you run? I don't have a purse or anything, and I'm being accused of shopping because I want to shop at Sports Academy. This is ridiculous. What? I can't even shop in peace when that bully's being called on me for shoplifting. This is ridiculous because I'm a transgender. After getting arrested, the suspect turns manic and starts screaming even louder. All right, listen. This is ridiculous. Listen. I haven't touched listen anything. To I don't have a listen purse or anything. Listen to I'm me. I'm getting my lawyer. This is ridiculous. Are you going to listen to me? I haven't stole anything. Okay, well, are you going to listen to me? I don't have anything on me. I'm on this f***ing dress. I'm trying to talk Every to you. Every time I go in the store, this happens. I think her shoes are somewhere in the road. Or... <laughs> <laughs> she smacked my arm pretty good. Oh. oh damn. Those bushes almost got me. I'm gonna get my fing lawyer! Are you done? I haven't touched anything! Well, can Nothing I talk? Is on me. Can I explain something to you? If that's okay? The store was about to close, I okay, just put all listen, my stuff back! Listen, listen, listen. So we get called because they're saying that y'all are sticking a bunch of stuff in carts. No, they but listen, about to can close. I finish? Can I, I finish? Put all my stuff back. Can I finish? I will never shot unless I live here. Okay, well can I finish? So their intention was to ID you, and then you'd be free to go. So they're in the, from my understanding, they're in the process of identifying you when you took off running. There was no intention to arrest you for shoplifting. Why was I being questioned for shopping? Because they wanted to ID you to potentially bar you if you were shoplifting. But, I was but not. look, people do that all the time. They always put that's stuff in the car and then I run out. In the shop like it's a not discrimination. Person. It's not I have discrimination. Nephews that's going okay. Back to school. But listen, why did you run? The suspect was charged with obstruction of law enforcement officer. This university student threatened a pro-Israel group. You mind if I search you real quick? All right, turn around. On January 23rd, 2024, Florida police officers received a report of death threats at the University of Central Florida campus. According to the report, 21-year-old Seif Asi was threatening a pro-Israel group, telling them that he was going to shoot them. But I know the guy that came up, you know, he was terrified, right? Like, he, he's, he's scared. <laughs> I mean, it's not, a, it's not a nice thing to say to somebody, right? It's, it's pretty scary stuff. It's like they're like non-verbally saying it back to me with what they're doing. It's just like, that's what the message it gives me, you know? Like symbolism has like a lot of meanings to it. And what they're doing is how it portrays to me. It's like they're literally threatening and insulting me. So they're just putting flags in the ground, right? No, they have a whole, like that last week they literally had a whole flag saying what they're doing is justified. Like it's the same group of people. Yeah. What's crazy is the, the the political division between every country, but yeah. even in this country, right? We have the, the Republicans and the Democrats and this whole presidential election that's coming up that's going to be horrible, right? Um, so everybody has, everyone has their kind of focus and their, their, their stuff that they get tied into personally. Yeah, you can have a seat. That's worked out. 
Do you mind if I check your bag, though? Just make sure you don't have any goodies in there. Thanks. Did you do leg day today? No, just check. You do the uh, RWC over by yeah. Bravo Garage? Yeah, I just walked there. The gym is so nice. Yeah, it's so, so packed though. It is. Have you ever used the smaller one by Subway? It closed though. I used to go there when I. What do you mean it closed? It closed like over a year ago. Really? I could have swore I saw somebody coming out of there the other day. What do they have in there now? I don't know if they're repurposing it. It used to be a small gym, but I used to go there just to get a small workout in. Yeah. My whole life gonna be ruined because of this? No. No. The important thing is, right, I think I've already said it, I just want to make sure to reiterate it. The important thing is, regardless of what your beliefs are and how strong your beliefs are, you can't really be verbally aggressive no matter what. That never is an excuse to make a threat to someone else. Because not only on campus, but obviously here, right, that people's safety is important. Um, so you could have all the debate verbally that you want with somebody, right? We have freedom of speech here, but you can't. Once you cross that threshold, right, that's where it starts to get into the world of criminality. So you'll have to just deal with that and, and figure out a way to, if you feel like emotionally you need to express yourself for who you are supporting, right, you have to do it in a way that, that fits, that's appropriate. After the conversation, the officers arrested him. You have any weapons on you or anything? You mind if I search you real quick? All right, turn around. You can search my I'll explain everything to you in a second, go. I'm gonna put these in here, okay? okay. Alright, just walk behind uh, this corner here. My whole life can be ruined now. No, I'll explain everything to you. Just give me one second. I know it's kind of tight. Oh, I see. Let's put this on and then you can just slant your body to be a little, a little bit more comfortable. Safe Ozzy was charged with three counts of intimidation and making a credible threat to individuals wearing religious items. This transgender person threatened to murder his mother. Gotcha. Alright, so I need you to turn around for me. Alright. Kids. Six year old's not here. Athens Clark County Police Department officers received a report of a death threat. The victim reported that her transgender son threatened to kill her during a domestic dispute. After questioning the mother, the officers located and confronted her son who was making the threats. So tell me, what's going on? What happened? Okay, so, um, basically, my mom and I had an argument yesterday, mm -hmm. and it resulted in, um, basically, me uh, and my family, we left to stay with my grandma because okay. it wasn't working. The, a lot was being said and there was no resolution. Okay. So we went to stay with my grandma. 
That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was. It was not. There was no physical. You know, there was no physical violence. It was just words, and I smashed two balls. Um, okay. One of them. Do you have your ID with you? Yes. Is it a yeah. are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Um, I go by Matilda. Okay. I guess. So. The old. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tell me a little bit of what happened with the knife and all that. So, I was having like, basically, at, by the end of the argument, I was at the point of I would casually call it like near a mental breakdown. I don't know what's clinically, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I was in a bad place emotionally, mentally. Okay. You know, it was just a bad time, right? Um. I felt like no matter what I said, she just kept going on the same thing. I felt like I was being emotionally abused. I'm sure she has her own opinion on the matter. Mm -hmm. And I guess I respect that for what it is, but um, I can only go by how I was feeling in the moment. Um, I did not threaten her or myself with it. I threatened to cut my hair. Okay. Because my hair is an important part of me. And I was, I was trying to get her attention and it's so stupid. Sure. You know, when I'm in a clear mind, you know, okay. so stupid. But in the moment, I was, you know, being like, look, I'm going to cut my hair. I'm going to cut my hair. And I I don't know. Okay. And it got to the point where like, I was so frustrated because she just kept talking over me. I was, I'm just desperately trying to get her attention in that, you know, hazy, scary moment, right? So I just, like, am, like, stabbing the ground, just, like, trying to, like, break the knife. And, and then I eventually succeed in, like breaking the tip and then I just toss it to the side okay. and I burst into tears because okay. you know I'm like I'm past my limit and I just I need to go she says I mean my family should leave so we do and that's kind of where we're at okay yeah gotcha all right so I need you to turn around for me of course kids wait wait the six year old's not here oh no she's she's on the other location y'all like to do it funny quick I think they saw is that okay or is it too tight? It's okay, thank you. I apologize about this. No, you're. This is. I've no. never even gotten a speeding ticket, so this is really. Understandable. Scary and weird for me. All right. All right, well, you can have to. Good, we got our... He was charged with aggravated assault, criminal trespass, and cruelty to children. This woke man got arrested for protesting beach fees. Hey. All right. Put him in handcuffs. Handcuffs. He's under arrest. On August 24, 2024, New Jersey police officers were dispatched to Belmar Beach in reference to a protester, later identified as Ryan Schraber, who was protesting the fees in the Jersey Shore. He came to the beach without paying for a beach badge and stayed there even though the officers arrived. I don't consent to being touched. I don't consent to any medical intervention. I don't consent to that. Okay. Uh, but just in terms of the cramping and the, all that, the other stuff you said, yeah, nothing else medically? Spiritually breathing. Right medically, not spiritually. spiritually. Yeah, no, spirit is top okay. of the body, believe it or not. All right, so that's it on the medical stuff, though? Well, it makes sense that you don't understand that. Uh, all right, I'm just asking, okay, medically wise. I appreciate wise. that, yeah, Okay? No. no. All right. I'm doing just fine. I just have some. Well, not a creature disorder. I'm just cramping a little bit. Just cramping? Okay. All right. I don't want to move. I just want to rest. All right. Can we assist you with moving on to the Reeves, this orange contraption right next to you? Uh, no. So that? I'm consent to being touched. You could get me some water, though. That would be nice. Okay, but we're, we're, go we're going to move and go up to the ambulance, okay? We can do that in the ambulance, all right? But right here, we can't sit here and do that, all right? I can't do any of that. All right. I don't consent to any of that. Okay. Well, I'd like to assist you in getting the help that you need with your cramping. And all right. Uh, if you just brought me water, that would be great. I know, but you said you've clearly had the plenty of hydration today, and you're still cramping, so something else is going on. Yeah, maybe electrolytes then. Maybe right. I need Gatorade instead. Okay, well, we don't have Gatorade on us, all right? So let's just... I can give you my card. I'd like to move over to this Reeves contraption right next to you, nice and easy, yeah. and I'm just trying to ask if there's any way I can assist you in doing so. No. Okay. All right. Would you like me, would you like to take my hand and move over? Minimal? I don't want to touch you at all. 
Okay. COVID, sir. All right. No, it's not. None taken. All right. Well, how are we going to move you then? Or how are you going to move and get in? We need about an hour or two. Well, clearly we can't wait an hour because your condition's worsen. All right. Does it? Yeah. I feel a little better actually now. I still can't move though. It seems that it's getting better though. Right. Well, it's definitely progressing in the better direction, but I don't feel good enough yet. Okay. All right. Well, why don't we help you stand up and see how you feel when you're standing? I don't want to be helped. Well, can you stand up on your own? Yeah, I'll, I'll try. All right. All right, let me try. I'm get anything. Hmm. How's that going for you? Sorry, officer. I'm trying to stand right now. You can't stand? I'm trying. Can you let me try? All right, well, why don't we give you a hand up? The officers proceeded to arrest Ryan. I don't want to be touched. I don't want to be touched. I don't want to be touched. Can we stand? I don't want to be touched right now. Stand up. I am not being touched right now. Do not touch me right now. I do not consent to being touched right now. Can you scooch in a little bit? No, I can't move. Ow! Ow! Dave, you want to ride with What's your problem? Bro! What Go the up. F- is your problem, dude? You're shit. Hey, dude. Hold on your shirt. Don't touch me, bro. Right, Don't touch me. Nobody's touching you. We're just driving. Hey. Oh. All right. Put him in handcuffs. Handcuffs. He's under arrest. Just loosen your arms. Loosen your arms. Loosen your arms. Loosen your arms. Come on, dude. Really? Put your hands behind your back, man. Go ahead. Stop, dude. Go ahead. Cuff me. Cuff me. Cuff me. Cuff me. Cuff me. There you go. There you go. That's all it took. Yeah, you don't touch my property. Sit up. Do not touch my property. Sit up. You're fine. Just walk. Free to walk. Can I get the reads? Yeah. Yeah. Leave him lay there. Just like that. Okay. You're under arrest. You can't have the phone. Alright, take the phone. Go to sleep. Yeah, do the emergency. Call the phone. Our Father, Juan, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive those who trespass against us. I forgive you all. Can we put him on the back of that? Yeah. Okay. I think we should just walk him. You want to walk him? Just walk him. All right. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Get him side. One side. Get that side. So you can get the front. Watch your back, Dave. Hey, Eric, you want to grab one of these handles so Dave walks forward? Thank you, buddy. Good job, guys. Thank you for your service, Bob. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, man. Just watch the ropes, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. They did a good job saving me from sitting on the beach. Thanks, guys. Ryan Schramer was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. This woman did yoga in custody. Can you do what I can do? Can you do this and you're a cop? And I haven't worked out in three years. That's pretty and you're good. A cop. On July 22nd, 2024, Wisconsin police officers observed a speeding driver going 60 miles per hour in a 30 zone. The officer initiated a traffic stop and the driver briefly stopped the vehicle before speeding off again. The driver later identified as 35-year-old Mallory Griffin quickly realized that it would be a bad decision to flee and stopped her vehicle again. Get out of the car now! Get out now! Get your hands up! Do it now! Get your hands up! <laughs> Put your hands out the window and stop the car! Do it now! Shut the car off! Do it now! Thank you, Carver. My friends, you want me here? 
Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Out of the car. Do it now. You're out of the car. Do it now. Step out. You want to do Face the car. Stop resisting. The officers arrested her and brought her to the police station where they began questioning her. Upon realizing that she might be intoxicated, the officers wanted to conduct field sobriety tests. But Griffin had other thoughts and instead she started showing off her yoga skills. Please stand up again. Are there any ailments with your legs that would affect your walking or balance? Yes, Ken. He's cut. I'm asking you because you're going to be performing the test. Can you do what I can do? Can you do this in your car? And I haven't worked out in three years. That's pretty and you're good. You're a cop. That's pretty good. No, I probably can't do that. Yeah, you should. You should look like me if you want to be a cop. Okay. Same with him. You should look like him, but I bet he couldn't do what I just did. Put me in a cell and end it. All right. Feet together. And you look like the biggest idiot doing what people tell you to do. So, Hands down by your side. And I'm back what? <laughs> like I said, you're gonna, can you see the tip of my finger? I don't know. Can you see it without your glasses on? You're a cop. No, that's why You I'm should be glasses. wearing glasses. You actually shouldn't be a cop because you can't see perfectly. All right. Can you see the tip of my finger? Hands, I can see it. Take your glasses your off and let's see if you can see it. Same with him. You're I would only choose him to work in my PlayStation. You have to do a test with finger. Finger. With your eyes and your eyes only, you are not going to be moving your head. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you have any questions? No? Okay. We're going to begin. You got to follow with your eyes, Mallory. You shouldn't listen to what people tell you to. <laughs> Are you refusing to do the test? No, I'm just laughing. This is just so funny that you won't be able to do it. Griffin continues mocking the officers during the next sobriety tests. You're going to be taking nine heel to toe steps down an imaginary line. When you get to your ninth step, don't start. Don't start yet. Okay, go back to the start position. You're not going to be moving until I tell you to begin, okay? Your feet are going to stay where they are. Feet together, arms down by your side. You're going to be taking a series of nine steps down that imaginary line, heel to toe. At the ninth step, that lead foot is going to stay on the ground, and you're going to take a series of small steps to turn back around that line, take another series of nine heel to toe steps back. It's going to look like this. One, two, three, indicating this is your ninth step. You're going to take a series of small steps to turn around and go back down that line. Nine more steps. One, two, three, all the way down to nine. <laughs> Just a couple things to remember. Look down at your feet. Count out loud. Keep your hands down by your side. Don't stop until I tell you to do so or you feel you have completed the test. Do you understand what? the test? What? Do you understand the test? <laughs> well, I usually have done this on the street. Are you on me in front of the camera? Are you starting? I have flat feet. Of course I can't walk in a straight line because my feet are flat. That's why I got arrested in Indiana. Because my feet were flat and I went to jail for no reason. Because they said I was drunk and roasted a cop right in front of their face. <laughs> Not their cops. Are you done with the test? I just did the test. Okay. <laughs> can you do it without your shoes on? Let's see if you can do it. Let's see if you have flat feet. Did they see your? Did they check your feet before you were hired to be a cop? Did they when check I, your eyes when to be a cop? If there were any cop? other medical problems or issues that would affect your walking and your balance, you didn't say yes. On you should have asked that and done this outside in front of I, the camera. I did the test. You fled. We had to bring you here. You're gonna be looking down at that raised foot and you're gonna count out loud: one, one thousand, two, one thousand. Three one thousand until that's not necessary. Until I tell you to nope, stop. That's not necessary. It's gonna look a little like nope, this. Nope. The only task that you need to do. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Four one thousand. Okay. How would I do it if I had flat feet? So on and so forth until I tell you to stop. Okay. Do you understand? Do you understand this test? No, I don't have a comprehension problem, obviously. Okay. Do you want me to explain it again? Nope. I need it written on paper. You need it written down on paper. Mm -hmm. Are you a visual learner? You don't know me and you will never That's know. That's why I'm asking. You will never know if I'm a visual, what type of learner I am because you will not study psychology. I'm, I'm trying to, to understand. Class.
Mallory Griffin was charged with operating while intoxicated, resisting an officer, speeding, and driving without valid vehicle registration. This entitled college student slept in a lobby. No, dude, no, 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 stop. Please don't touch me. Go, go sit back over there. Please go, don't touch go sit me. Go sit back over there. Please don't touch go sit back over there. You're not, you're not free to go. Stop. Please don't touch me. Go sit back. On December 13th, 2021, Florida police officers were dispatched to a Tallahassee apartment complex lobby in reference to a trespassing. The suspect, later identified as 23 year old Autumn Ledbetter, slept in the lobby after receiving a trespassing warning 12 days prior. You got your ID on you? It's not. Is it in the budget? It's not. It's not. I'm here to say that I need a job. I'd like to see you. What's your first name? I'm not sure if you have a job. What's your first name? I'm not sure if you have a job. Okay, you're talking just fine. Let's talk normal. What's your first name? Oh, goodness. Oh. I'm here to go. I'm sorry. No, you're yeah, right, right now, right now you gotta hold up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Easy way, car way, it's up to you. What we're just trying to find out who you what are. What is your first name? We're, we're trying to make sure you're safe and find out who you are real quick, okay? If you don't have any warrants or anything like that, then we're good. But I need to get your first name and all that information, okay? I'm, I'm just, I just woke up and I did. I got you. Just. Yeah. I'm just going to this ain't a bedroom. Oh, okay, I'm going to go up to my bedroom. Where's your bedroom? No, I'm not interested in telling anybody right now. I just woke up from sleep. Okay. What's your first name? I'm not here to give out any names. What's that? I'm not here to give out any names, sir. I'm so sorry. Well, you're not oh, free to goodness. leave right now. Okay, then. So, well, let's begin with your first name, because if... So, have you, are you familiar with resisting him? If you don't give me your information, that is what we call resisting. Yes, sir. So, what is your first name, young lady? Um, I don't have Open up your purse and give me your ID. I don't have one. Hmm? I don't have one, sir. You don't have one? No, I actually have to get my ID back today. From um, where? From my girlfriend's house. I love you. Okay. Then give my officer your first name. No, sir. Huh? No, thank you. No, give him it now. Or we're gonna go in cuffs and we're gonna walk downstairs and I'll find out who you are later. Okay, no thank you, sir. Say what? I said, okay, no thank you, sir. I had the skateboarding on and I fell asleep. I apologize. Okay. Now they're watching yes, racing. We're just trying to help you make sure you're okay. Can you please move out the way? Huh? Can you please not stand over me like that? I'm not, I'm not trying to intimidate you or anything, but... You, if you live here, why are you sleeping up here on the couch? I said I was watching sleep footing and now Oh, you're watching, racing. you're watching something? Oh, okay. Are you a student in Tallahassee? Um, I would love to continue to be one, but I'm graduating, so no. From where? With what, with what major? I'm not interested in talking, honestly, sir. You don't want to talk about your major? No. Ledbetter thinks that she can just walk away from her problems, but the officers proceed to arrest her. No, 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 stop. Please don't touch me. Go, go sit back over there. Please go, don't touch go sit me. Over here. Go sit back over there. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. You're not, touch you're not free to go. Stop. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. Stop. You're, you're not free to go. You're not free to touch me. Yes, I am. Am I being go, detained? Yes, you yes, are detained. You are detained. For what? For an investigation. Go sit down. What, what type of investigation? I'm trespassing. Let go of me. Then sit down. Let go of me. You're going to go in cuffs if you don't sit down. Sit down. Seriously? If you don't sit down, we'll put you in cuffs. Yeah. Seriously? Let go of me. Turn around. Stop. 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 Yeah. Stop resisting. Stop. Seriously, let go of me. No. I got you. Okay, why? Well, what did I do? Will do. Just right, ask you a question. I have to put a restraining order on you. There you go. I'm sorry. Go, just give me. Yeah. Turn around. I'm gonna set a fucking around with this. Lady, would you stop? I mean, it was not good of you. Oh. Oh. I'm 
Seriously? Can you touch my foot? I just have to pee. Can I please pee? You just kick me? But can I pee? I want to have just up. I'm asking if I can use the restroom. Sir, we walk in the restroom. You're under arrest. That's definitely not happening. Why? I'm just asking if I can use the restroom. Holy sh. She continues resisting and making things worse for herself. I want to use the restroom. Seven five five dispatch. We got one ten fifteen. Stop kicking. Some use restroom. You will when you get to go to jail. Oh, Please stop. Please get your hands off my. Ass. Please get your hands off of my. Ass. Please. Hey, sorry. Um, if you got a hobble or if somebody else wants to come here with a hobble. She's like kicking us and everything too. Please get your hands off of my Please. Please. Stop. Please just let me use the restroom. That's all I ask. Holy sh. Stop kicking, okay? for trespassing, you're under arrest for battery on LEO now. We're gonna um, just have you write a statement to about the previous incident and then obviously this. Stop, stop, stop doing that. Stop hitting your head. I'm gonna use the restroom. What's that? I'm gonna use the restroom. Yeah, I mean, it's the restroom! Ah. Seriously! Yes, sir, no worries. Please, please, please! Yeah, no worries, sir. We can do it. Please stop. Stop! Just, yeah, I want to just... Can you get off of me? No. Why? Because you're kicking us. And because you're on me. Because you're resisting us. No, I'm asking if I can do something. Will you walk me? No. I'm not resisting. You are resisting. What? Why am I going to trust you now when you didn't do what we asked the first time? What did you ask? To stop sit kicking down. us, and what did you do? Keep kicking us. You're pathetic. As you okay. sit down, you wouldn't Get sit off down. of me. Get off of me. Too late for that, sweetheart. Stop doing that. Then get off of me. Get your hands stop. off of me Stop. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Then get off of me. Ledbetter was charged with trespass after warning, resisting arrest, and battery on a law enforcement officer. This professor accused an officer of racially profiling. Like I said, man, as much as I'd like to help, I talked to my supervisor and he said no go with no staff ID and anything. So, yeah. As and do? Yeah. On May 25th, 2022, a California State University campus officer spotted a man trying to access a secured area and asked him to show an identification card. The man, later identified as Stephen Asuna, was working as a sociology professor at the university, but refused to cooperate with the officer and later accused him of racially profiling. Hey, how are you? Oh, it's all good, man. Do you have your campus ID with you? I don't. That's the thing. Um, if, you the, if you go inside my office, I, have my, I lost my ID. I was traveling this weekend. But here's my credit card. Dude. Do you have a campus actual? I don't. Card? I lost it. But here's my. Okay. 
But if we go inside my office, my off my door's open. Just the front, the, the office door is the the hallway is locked, but my office is open right now. If we go okay. in there, you do you can have see. a? Do you have a? Do I can you, give you my ID number. Do you have a? Did you call your dean? Oh, my dean, no, my dean's left. And he's not here. Okay. okay, you would. I would give call because, because here's the thing. So I I can't unlock it without any photo ID. And technically, like technically, before I'm not I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything. Yeah. But technically, before we get called, it has to go to the dean first. You have to come respond. My cell phone's in there. I don't have anything. Yeah, I, I mean, unfortunately, but, I, you wouldn't be locking the, unlocking my door. You'd be locking the. Do hallway. you have any form of photo ID in there? I don't. In my, in my in there, I have pictures of myself and my family. You can see that. I promise you'll see that. I promise you that you'll see it in there, dude. I promise you, you'll see my pictures of me and my kids and my wife in there. I mean, just look. You just gotta open up the hallway. My door's unlocked. I just forgot my keys when I used the restroom. My okay. car's parked right here. This is my car, my Honda Accord. I'm here, you just, I promise you, I'm not lying. You just open the door, I'll, I'll show you. Need you to any other form of- I don't, I, I was traveling into Jersey and I lost my ID, you know, I'm sorry. Okay, and your photos are in there? Yeah, my, everything's in there, I promise you. see everything in there, I'm not. I'm not going to out. I know this sounds, looks weird, like I've yeah. got no IDs, you know, like, but I promise you, once you're in there, you'll see, you'll see my stuff. Which which one is it? Okay. Do you have know your dean's phone number? What's up? Your dean's phone number? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, let me let me clear this with my supervisor yeah, yeah. first, okay? Yeah. Hey, so I know Chad already, uh, already said the old CSO thing, but I was already 97 with this thing. Um, so he says he's a staff member, locked his in the office, no ID, no nothing. He says he has photos, yeah, photos of himself in the office. No? Okay, so, all right, I'll, I'll let him know. Yeah, he, yeah, he said, um, yeah, he didn't have any photo ID or campus ID or nothing. He said, it's like all the sh** in there, so. Yeah, yeah, I get, I, yeah, that's, yeah, that's why I thought I'd run about it, run it through you first. Okay, I'll tell him that then. He, he's got, he's got, well, he's like, he's like, hey, I lost my ID and so, I guess so. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. It, so I talked to my supervisor, and he said no go, unfortunately. So. How am I supposed to get in? Then I have to. They don't have anything here. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, my door's unlocked. My office. I, I I totally get it. I explained it in the circumstances, but unfortunately, he won't he won't let me go in there. So how, how do I do what I do? Do you have any way to contact anybody? Call a phone, your dean, or you have to get in that car. Your car's here. Get to a phone. Yeah. Like I said, man, as much as I'd like to help, I talked to my supervisor and he said no go with no staff ID and anything. So, yeah. And Lou? Yeah, Officer Lou. I'm sure if I was a white professor, you'd be fine with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure you are. I'm sure that's the case. If I was a white professor, you'd be fine with this. And you want to smirk about it, but you know it's true. 
You wouldn't have no problem opening the door for a while. I'm, I'm sorry. I literally you called. I'm trying to help. That's true, man. That's the part. That I'm a professor. I'm in there. My door is. I locked the door accidentally. I went to you to the restroom. You guys can't open the door. I called, like I said, I called. I called the supervisor. That's the part, man. But, all right. Okay. Well, I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Take care. Steven Asuna was not charged. This woman fell asleep in her car. You just threw me around like I'm a f***ing rag doll. Okay. You realize how much bigger you are than me? On June 28, 2021, Volusia County Sheriff's Office deputies received a report of a passed out woman in a car gas station. The officers arrived at the scene and located the woman, later identified as 21-year-old Kristen McMurdy, who was sound asleep. going on today? Do you know where you're at? Where you at? You're not responding to anybody. We've been knocking on your window for a while. Speak up. What's going on? I've been door dashing. Narcotics or anything like that that would cause your pass out like that? You don't need medical treatment for anything? You haven't been doing anything illegal? How about the Xanax that's sitting right in your door? Would that be why you're passed out? What's that? What's that? I guess so. As she's barely responsive, the officer proceeds to arrest her when she wakes up from her slumber. Hop on out for me. Put the phone down. Hop on out for me. Are you going to start on the rest? Ow! Quit breaking my Listen. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting.
Stop resisting. Stop pulling. Stop fighting. You gotta stand up and walk to the car? No, you. Why don't you stand up and walk to the car? No, how about you? 24 seconds. Stand up and walk to my car. Get up and walk to the car. I can't feel my car, bro. Are you gonna get up and walk to the car? I can't feel my car. Are you gonna get up and walk to the car? Stop. 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 Get up and walk to the car. No, ma'am. Nope. Throw me around. On your side. No, you just tried to do that thing. You choked me. Man, please stop. stop. Somebody is hurting stop. me. Stop. Stop resisting. He's hurting me. Stop resisting. No, no, you up. want to be nice. You can't just. You were just throwing me around like I'm a rat dog. Fuck you. <laughs> The officers ignore her screams and continue the arrest. Realize how much bigger you are than me. All right, one, two, three, go. Kristen McMurdy was charged with possession of Alprazolam, resisting arrest with violence, and battery on a law enforcement officer. This woman thought that she could break laws without any consequences. So first thing you did was come up to me. No, 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 no. And you it, it, you're, not up my door. you're not dictating. No, no, first of all, you start screaming at me through the window. So I was your hot stuff. On June 29, 2024, Newcastle police officers initiated a traffic stop after observing a car committing several traffic violations. Additionally, the car had a bullet hole in the door, and the car's registration was suspended. When the officer made contact with the driver, he quickly realized that he was dealing with an incredibly entitled person who thought that she was above the law. Step out of the car. Step out. Step out. Because I asked you to. No. What is it? Yes. For what? Step out. No. You want to get, you want to get locked up? For what? Right now, you're resisting. For what? Step you step said I'm detained, but you never gave me a reason. You because pulled me over, then you honked your um sideline because I'm backing up. Did you want me to stop on this other road? No, we're not doing that. Step we're out. Doing that. Step out. First of we're all, done. calm me the f down because I'm not doing that. I asked you to step out. No. Get your supervisor. Sorry, Francis. I know you're here. You guys. But you got the right one. 
Because you were doing too much, you were following me, and then you, you know went what, off you know the board. You know why I was following you? Why? Because you had, I saw you at least do at least four unsafe lane changes. How? No, because I did my blinkers, I waited no, to make sure there was cars. Uh, uncooperative driver. Hey Siri, call me phone. Make sure I have my lawyer on the phone. That's fine. Yeah, okay, it is fine. Okay. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Okay, um, you got one chance to step out of the car, or else I'm going to arrest you. For what? Resisting You're saying arrest. that? I, I, by by okay. the Supreme Court said a police officer can okay. have you step out of the car. Breathe. Calm down. Because Cause I'm not going to do anything to hurt you, so calm down. You have to step out of the car for any reason I deem necessary. So first thing you did was come up to me. No, no, no. no. It, it, you're, not dicta door. you're not dictating. No, no. First of all, you started screaming at me through the window. So I was you hostile. A lot. What am I doing? Explain to me. What am I doing? Three times? You want me to explain it to you three times? The person you're trying to... Because when I partner gets gets I would like for your supervisor to okay. come. Okay. When I... Once your supervisor comes, I will listen to him or her. Okay. Or it. Or whatever they... I am going... When I get... When my backup officer gets here, mm -hmm. I'm going to pull you out and I'm going to put you in handcuffs. And then when you put your hands on me, I'm going to make sure it's recorded. It's going to be recorded. Yeah, cops love to turn their cameras off when it's beneficial for them. Okay. Listen, you're going to be under arrest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can we fast forward? That part. You said we want to wait for your person to come. What are we doing until then? Because I don't have any weapons on me, and I know you. I'm. I'm going to place you under arrest. Mm -hmm. You're going to be under arrest. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know why? Yeah. Let me actually make sure I have your badge. Uh, my badge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be on the paperwork. Is, uh, Perfect. Okay. That's beautiful. Okay. So the reason I stopped you? Uh huh. Multiple unsafe lane changes. Uh huh. No turn signal. Oh, that's the Your lot. tag is also suspended for no insurance. Really? So your vehicle crazy. will be towed today. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Good. So you want to step out? No, I'm going to wait. Your person comes. Okay. Well. You can stay right there. I'm not going to pull off. You okay. want my keys too? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take the keys. Okay. It's going to be the tow truck. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have fun with you in court, baby. We're going we to have a day. Okay. Well, that's all right. It's all this going on. That's camera. awesome. I love that for us. Okay. I love that for us. So, so how's your day going other than this? Well, I'd rather not be dealing with this right now. Me too. Huh. But you decided to stop me. Well, that's because you're driving in an unsafe manner. That's not accurate. That's because you're driving in an unsafe manner. You might not think it's accurate, but hey, we're going to court. Hang up. I know. I already said that. Let me make sure my music on. I heard it coming in. That's perfect. I know. Keep calling now. Okay. I'm over here near where Blue live. This uh, Royal Farms up near Bear. I have a um some type of cop here. And he's talking about he wants okay. to take my car. I'm going to pull around and detain way. her. First of all, you're not going to pull me out because I said I'll wait. Don't touch Listen, me. Please. I said I'll wait. Listen, I give you every opportunity. I give you every opportunity. And I said it to you. I'm going to wait till your friends come. Don't touch me get and I'll get out. Get out of the car. Get out, out, of, the car. Get out of the car. I'm not moving. Shut Move. Stand behind your back. First of all, don't put your hands behind your back. Don't put your hands on me. I said I was going to do Get off me. Then move. Put me in your face. Oh, okay, do it. I got this hand. Do it. Fuck the phone with you, okay? On the ground. That's all you done? Thank you, guys. I got it. Get on the ground. This didn't have to be like that. Get on the ground. Give me a second, I'll get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Go. Oh, honey, you don't have to <laughs> Not my foot. Do my foot. Do my foot. Get off his foot. Get off his foot. Get the f off his foot. Get off. Stop Get off. resisting. Get off. Now. Grab onto my foot. Let go of my foot. Let go of his foot. foot. Right, we Stay back. Stay Get back. His foot. Now. Get off the foot now. Get off his foot now. Still fighting. Oh yeah, still on my grip. I got this one. Grab her arm. I got this one. You got this one? Give me the other one. Ready? Yep. I got this one. Get off my foot. Get off my foot. Stop resisting and give your arm. Give your arm now! No, don't turn my face because I'll get it on camera. 
Oh, it's on camera, ma'am. We're all on camera. Are we? Uh, yeah. Just so didn't have to be like this. Jay, you will approach me aggressive as You're a pussy and it's a far cop to get a little girl like me down. I don't even weigh 200 pounds. This didn't have to be Shut like this. She was charged with two counts of battery against a law enforcement officer resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, incited for improper window tinting, and canceled registration card.